Hoover, how are you doing? Uh, I've been doing a few uh, um, lessons on beginning acoustic guitar. And uh, we started with an E minor 7 chord, went to E minor, E major, then we did the same three shapes, one string over, A9, A2, and A minor. And then we tried a G chord, going to a C2. So if you followed along with those videos, you might be ready for another chord. Alright, the chord I want to work on is called D, D major. Uh, D major, you're going to start with your index finger on the third string, second fret. Can you see that? Third string, second fret. So this is first string, second string, third string. Frets are these metal guys going across the other way. So this is first fret, you want to go second fret, press down third string, second fret with your index fingertip. That's a lot of instructions, isn't it? All right, index, and then middle is on the same fret, second fret, but on first string. So they're kind of split there. All right, let's make sure you got that. Index, third string, second fret, middle, first string, second fret, then ring is between them on second string, third fret. So it's a little triangle shape. Let's see if I can get up there and you can, your fingers should look something like that. Can you see? That's index, middle, ring. And your fingers will memorize that. They'll just go there instantly. So that's a D major chord. So think of it as a D major, but also remember it's a shape that you can move around. And it sounds like this. So we're gonna strum just four strings on that one, the four skinny strings. Now listen, if you get a note that sounds like this, you've gotta fix that. So listen to your chord. If you have any of those dead notes, little clunkers there, you got to get in and fix them. You got to engineer that. Get in and figure it out. You're probably not pressing on the tips, and they might be rolling over this way too flat. They got to be standing up. So this is where it kind of helps to put thumb on the back of the neck there to help get the space in here because the fingers have to be curled. I'm going to move this cable just a little bit. Yeah, all right. Then I can roll my chair around. <laughs> Alright, that's a D chord. There's a lot you can do with that. That's going to fit really nice with that G, C2, and the D. And when you move through those chords, one thing that never changes is the ring finger. It stays on the second string, third fret, through all three of those chords. G, C2, and D. So do a little memorizing, you know. I think people often, you know, they're like, oh, I already got that, that's in a book, or I've, I've saw, I saw it online once, so I've got it. But really, you've got to get it up here, okay? so. Make sure you're really focusing, you know, look, use your eyes, look at what you've got, listen, remember the names. Cool. All right, now, if you're brand new to guitar, that's going to take you a while just to play that much, to be able to play it smoothly. So, you might be like this, this is you going, ar, 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 fight, 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 mill, ow, 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 ring, you know. It might be kind of a big production just to get your fingers in place, and that's normal, don't worry. And then when you change, you know, you don't want to pick up all your fingers and scramble them, you just want to go. Remember, these two stay in place from G, 
to C2, and the ring stays in place for the D. But your hand might want to like pick up, which is normal, but we, you know, it's going to take you a while to do what I'm asking here. But don't give up. All right, I'm going to do those chords in the opposite order. I'm going to go D, C2, G. I'm going to hit G twice. So here's D, C2, and the G. Another G. Do it again. D, C2, and a G. And those are the chords to a Leonard Skinner song called Sweet Home Alabama Lord, I'm coming home to you Sweet Home Alabama Red Sky I really don't know that tune for singing. I just know the chords. I mean, if somebody wanted me to learn it and sing it, and if they were paying me money, I'd I'd do it, but right now that's not happening, so I don't care. <laughs> but you know, it's just as if you can learn this little little bit of a song, you'll be ready to learn other songs. And you might say, "Hey, Brooke, I don't like that song." Like, "Hey, I don't care. I don't either." But at least we can do it. And you know, or you could. There's like a all. What's that Kid Rock song? It's the same thing. Or Werewolves of London. Werewolves of London. Or can't you see, can't you see what that woman been doing to me? That's the whole song. And Sweet Home Alabama, that's the whole song. So, uh, you know, it's just something that you learn and then you're like, okay, I got that figured out. I'm ready to move on to something else. And I'm just trying to get you on to the next thing. But I like to make a little story up that, uh, let's say you just got guitar and you've done like three or four video lessons with, with me online. You're just following along and you're like, well, you know, I got a lot of work to do. And that's true, we all do. And then you get a message telling you, like maybe from the neighborhood uh, social committee, uh, informing you that you've been selected to provide the entertainment at the uh, the neighborhood uh, campfire next this coming Friday night. And you're like, ah, oh, I can't. I absolutely not. And they're like, no, it's set in stone. You have to do it. And you're like, I, I really can't. I'm not ready. And they're like, we'll see you then. And you'll be playing from like 6.30 to 7. And you're like, impossible. But let's just say there's no getting out of it. All you really got to do at this campfire is get your guitar out and just hit that G chord like this. <laughs> and people will say, she's really good. She's really good. And you're just going... And people will say, that's my favorite song. Way to go. Yeah, what's that one called? You're just like... It's a G chord. <laughs> people will hear all kinds of stuff in this. And then you go over to that C2, and people are like, oh, testify, oh, so good. And you're like, G, C2. And G, you can do that. For, I've done that at campfires before, and people are like, wow. Tremendous. I'm just like testing this idea and I just sat there playing like a G chord for like 15 minutes and people were like, great. And then you, you could add the D and the C2 and the G. Back to D. And just repeat. So we'll be getting into more fancy strumming. I'm just showing off a little bit right now. 
Um, so hopefully you're remembering that D. It's kind of a triangle shape, index, middle, ring. And there's a whole lot we can do with this thing. Things like bring it up to an E. Check this out. F, G, A, B, C, and D. You can move a lot of these shapes. Just about all of them move. So that was crazy. So, uh, you know, that may be too much information for one video, but just be ready to move these up the neck. That's the easiest way to make sense of guitar because you look at it and there's no logic. You see these six strings and these metal frets, the nut, the sound hole, you're like, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. It's shapes that's gonna, that's gonna kinda light up for you. Once you start seeing the shapes, it's gonna be really cool. So work on that D chord. Index, middle, ring. Strum four strings. Make sure the strings are ringing out nice and clear. And then try jumping to the other chords that we learned, like E minor and D. And the A minor and D. The G and the D. C2 and the E minor. Just mess around with them and you'll start hearing songs. You'll find songs. Songs will find you. It just works out. You just got to kind of trust me here a little bit and uh, trust yourself. Don't be too afraid and uh, just keep trying things and use your ears to listen and try to memorize the shapes and you'll be in good shape. Shape, shape, shape. All right. <laughs> this is Brooke Hoover saying, keep practicing and I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot. Take care.